right then, Mitch, I'm back. Let's talk about this Mayweather exhibition match that occurred last weekend real quick. I myself did not watch this exhibition. I did some reading and um, post-fight, I did check it out a little bit. One of my main reasons, besides curiosity, was the simple fact that I, I caught a lot of um, people saying that Possibly that TKO punch from Mr. Mayweather Jr. did not land. So I had to do some of my own little investigative work. And this is pretty much my finding based on that. I don't think that punch landed either. I believe it was a phantom punch. And fortunately, with a little bit of technology, a little bit of slow motion, maybe a little bit of rewind, we can get to the bottom of this. Now, we all understand the nature of an exhibition fight, but let's pause right here. This is a straight right that obviously missed. Seemed like the opponent slightly rolled. No connection. We got to remember that punch because later on we're going to discuss it. Now, here we see Mr. Floyd eating a nice right. Has he diminished? I mean, he most likely wouldn't have ate that big ass shot if he wasn't in an exhibition and he was a bit more serious about his boxing. But anyway, let's get right to this business, man. Nice right landed, minimal effect upon the opponent, as you can see. All right. Boom. Another shot landed. I'm not saying there's no impact, but once again, there's no detaching of the consciousness or anything like that. So now we come to this point here where this punch obviously misses and he's shook up. Can't even get up right away. Eyes are crossed. Referee has to stop the fight. Bam. That's a clean miss if you ask me. All right. But let's break this down a little bit more. Let's get to the details of this with some slow motion. Clean miss as you can see. I do believe, and this is based upon my opinion... There's some theatrics. Maybe they choreographed this straight right a little bit. I mean, like I said earlier on, there was a straight right that missed just like this one. Maybe that was a tester to make sure they're on point and everything will work when the execution of the straight right is necessary. Who knows? I don't know. I'm not a boxing crime scene investigator, but this does seem to me to be a phantom punch. So according to my opinion and my research... There is no punch that landed that caused the disruption in the psychological flow of this opponent. I believe it was theatrics. That's all I have for you. Anyway, whatever you think, you got to roll with it. That's all I'm saying.